So if I reach my hand up to my faceplate and grab that off, you can see I immediately just now put this object into an AR review space. So now I can view this. In this case, you guys are seeing my desk, everything in front of me. But let's say I've got another drill here and I'm just looking at this from the contextual standpoint of does that size feel relatively similar? In terms of the overall proportion, what are we looking at in terms of the size of the actual handle against something that's on market? And this could very easily be a physical prototype that you have. It could be an existing product on market. And giving that context, as well as just looking at this at one-to-one -one scale, when I'm looking at this and I'm looking at what it would feel like to reach out and grab it, it feels a little bit weird because in this case, let me go ahead and make a new layer really quick. If I'm looking at the overall structure of this drill that I've created, the saddle for my hand is higher up than the trigger position, which is gonna naturally kind of take my hand and pitch it at a certain angle. And when I see that in 3D and I'm looking at it, those kinds of observations are just instinctual. It's taking advantage of your spatial reasoning. And now Danny and I are both able to do that. You can see her headset floating here. So even though I'm in AR pass-through, she can still see everything that I'm seeing. We can talk about it in real time and she can put it in air pass through from where she's located. So if we're looking at this in context of the two overlays, we're starting to get a much clearer idea of where we're trying to head. And again, this is almost an alternative of 3D printing this right away or creating costly physical prototypes. It just bridges that gap between the creative space and the more evaluative space.